number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Hi, and welcome to Studio Time with Zach. My name is Zachary Rudder, and on the evening today, we're visiting some old friends at the Bagel Factory. As you guys can see, I've done a piece on the outside of the building. Now it's time to head inside. Don't call it a comeback. Oh my God, Marcus. So the lesson on this week's episode of Studio Time is focused on tips and tricks for painting a mural inside of a professional setting. Painting a mural in an interior commercial space, it's very important that you want to put plastic on everything, put tarps down, and make sure that you have a safe home base all your supplies can stay at so that way you're not knocking anything over or making unnecessary messes. Another tip, always keep a wet rag in your pocket. You never know if something's going to splash, splatter, or drip. Let's get to work. transfer our smaller image onto the larger surface is the traditional grid system you guys might recognize back when I did my largest mural yet at the VFW in Munhall. This method is my least favorite just because of all the measurements and math involved, but take a look at how I'm using painter's tape as a way to have an extra pair of hands while I measure. Now that we got the traditional grid outlined, it's time to start chalking on our image. Now you may not have noticed yet, but keep your eyes out for tips and tricks throughout the duration of the video. I'll be popping up little phrases of information as we go along. Last one was that chalk is easy to clean up. That's right, water and a wet rag will clean chalk off of anything. So the wonderful owner David has approved the design done in chalk. Now it's time to get to work on the skeleton outline get some paint on these walls. As you can see, we've got the skeleton outline finished. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry so I can clean off some of that chalk, and then we're gonna start adding some color. But we are flying on this awesome food mural. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of keeping a wet rag in your back pocket. You never know when you're gonna make a mistake, when something's not gonna line up right, or when you're gonna have to just erase in a hurry. Another tip and trick from Studio Time with Zach. Now that's a clean design. Let's start adding some colors. Always have a home base or a base camp where you're gonna set up all your supplies. That way you're not running crazy like a chicken with its head cut off trying to find everything. You're not tripping over anything either. I cannot emphasize enough how important a base camp is. There was one time I was painting a mural where I tripped over a whole gallon bucket of paint and covered someone's driveway. Talk about a mini heart attack. I spent the next two hours scrubbing the driveway. Another important tip is to always remember how the restaurant or commercial space was before you started working, especially when you have to come multiple nights. This place is going to be working again tomorrow morning and I got to get it back to where it was before I started. So let's clean up. And that's it for the night. Got all the color up. Tomorrow we're gonna come back, start outlining, do some touch-ups, and try and get it done. Didn't know half the fun of being an artist is carrying heavy stuff up and down steps after a long day of climbing a ladder. The fun never ends. 
day two at the Bagel Factory. We're heading there now. Just got the fresh cut, looking good, feeling good. About to go get this black outlining done and end the day with the clear coat. Definitely remember to repeat the steps from the day before, cover everything in plastic, and as always, establish a solid base camp. As you can see, we set it up exactly how we had it the last time we were in here painting. It's very important that you can maintain consistency when setting up and tearing down, especially when you're working inside of a commercial space. You don't want any accidents to occur, and you definitely don't want anything on the floors, walls, or any of the expensive equipment that restaurants maintain. Now let's get to work. Take a look at that strawberry lemonade. I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready to take a sip right off the wall. As you guys might know, today's black outline was done entirely with, you guessed it, PPG paint. Shout out PPG. Please sponsor me if you guys ever watch this video. Love your work, love your paint, and thanks for being a part of my life. So I'm about halfway, check it out, it's looking good. I'm so excited with the progress, but I thought I'd take a second to let you guys know. The Bagel Factory is one of my favorite Jewish delicatessens in the city of Pittsburgh, right on Forbes Avenue in Squirrel Hill. Uh, the owner's wonderful. All of the employees that have been talking to me throughout the duration of this mural have complimented my mural and told me that I'm doing a great job. Everyone here is so pleasant and so nice. I highly recommend you guys come in, get a bagel at least. They are the Bagel Factory after all, and let them know that Zach sent you. Let's get back to work. One little fun fact the owner mentioned when I started the interior mural is how well the outdoor mural has done at increasing the sales of those items on their menu. It makes me so happy to know that my artwork not only helped increase business at their shop, but it also lets the community know that the Bagel Factory sells more than just delicious bagels. As always, the final step to any Zach Rutter painting, the signature. And there you have it, another episode for Studio Time with Zach in the books. If you guys had fun, if you enjoyed yourself, and if you think you learned a thing or two, please like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned with all the fun happening at Studio Time. You didn't think the fun was over just yet, did you? I've got one more magic trick up my sleeve. We're gonna add another mural to the other side of the front of the store. Let's get to work. Painting on Forbes Avenue and Squirrel Hill out in the sunshine felt amazing. It was as close as I've gotten to live painting at events since COVID in a long time. People kept coming up and talking to me and it just makes me so happy that the community is so excited when they see public art.
time is for real. The end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, please subscribe. I make each of these videos for you guys. I want everyone to know how easy it is to be an artist and how much fun it can be too. I want to give a special shout out to the owner and all the staff at the Bagel Factory for welcoming me into their shop and letting me do what I love on their walls. Until next time guys, be safe and keep making art. Bye.